Oh, welcome, welcome, everybody. Good afternoon right here from India. So I'm not sure what it is anywhere around the world. It can only be a good morning or a good evening. But of course, welcome to me, Annie D. Welcome to the Purple Sofa. And welcome, obviously, to my guest today. And of course, welcome to all of you. All of you. Honestly, I can't help but smiling. Uh, I really can't. And I'll tell you why. Because I cannot believe the amount of excitement that I've had over my guest today. My guest today, model, actor, obviously heartthrob, uh, Harshad Arora. Oh my God. All of you in. Hi, people. Uh, Tanya, Durga, everybody, welcome to the show. And what it is, my guest today is actually on his set. So we've got a limited time uh, to have a chat. So we're going to try and fit it all in. And uh, so let's see, I'm not going to waste any more time. So let's see if he's here. Uh, let's see, where is he? So come on. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get on. I know we had a bit of a question as to how to get onto uh, onto Instagram, and uh, but he has to come on before I can actually do that. So, Harshad, if you can just come on, it would be useful, and then I can send you a request. So you're going to have to come onto the page. Uh, I hope that'll be easy for you. Lots of people here waiting for you, so we'd hate to cut it short. I know because I'll have my head on the line if we do this. Hang on a second. So let me just try again. Oh, God. So uh, where are we? Oh, yes, we are here at last. So let's see. Hopefully the connection should hold because I know there was an issue with connection. Hey, 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 hey Annie. How are you? I'm absolutely fine. Thank you so much for coming on today. Oh, my God. You're going to have to keep it on a vertical because Instagram is a vertical. Don't worry. I did it the first time as well. I did it the first time as well. Thank you so much for coming on. Let me tell you, Harsha, you have made the day. And I'll tell you what, because I interviewed Pratika, and you know the amount of people that messaged me and said, we want Harsha, we want Harsha. They did not let me go until I got you on. So I have to say thank you so much uh for like fixing this and making it happen because i am at the mercy of being the half fans okay i'm at the mercy all right and before before we move on hang on a second i've got to have a, a quick hello um there are lots of hellos and lots of love from hina in bangladesh i'm just going to tell you and also you've got love from turkey you've got love from pakistan especially Tareen. Now, Tareen, if you are here, oh my God, the Shakitan, he can shake that. He can't even believe that you're on. Now, they're all sending their love, especially from Pakistan, because apparently, because of the pandemic, they have said they've done reruns of Bay and the Half. So it's revitalized and doubled their love for you. How do you feel? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm just over with so much of love and affection. <laughs> Ah, you are overwhelmed because I've got a complaint. You do you know you kept me up the whole night? You kept me up. <laughs> Let me tell you, I put I put the promo out and I had messages until two o'clock in the morning. Honestly, and I woke up to like a hundred messages uh, when I when I logged in today. Can you imagine? So this is the impact that you've had on people, which is which is amazing. Now let me tell you. I need to ask you. What is the obsession? How is it you've hypnotized everybody? What is the obsession? Well, honestly, I haven't done anything. It's just uh, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, it's just the love of the people. I think I've been very lucky all this while, and uh, yeah. Uh, it's very, it's very uh, rare that you know, you know you get this kind of uh, this kind of affection from people, and I I admit that uh, I'm not a very you know social media guy, and yeah. uh, I've been I've been bad a lot for that in the past, yeah. and uh, it still happens. But yeah, this is it. And you know how much struggle I had to go through. You know, I try <laughs> to ask you how do I do this. You know, I don't really I know. know. No, uh, no, yeah. I know. I understood. I understood. You know what? It was like this for me for the first time. So, so don't worry. The first time, as they say, is always the most painful time. So now you'll be a pro. So hopefully you'll be on social media a bit more often, you know, for your fans at least. To, literally, I, yeah. I felt like I was being interviewed. I felt like I was under the spotlight last night. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyway, look, before we move on, very few questions. They will kill me if I don't ask you these questions. And at least let's get them out of the way, okay? Sure. So I'm going to put them out. So I need to read this here, okay? So your uh, first question. Now, the questions have been, and I have lots of people asking, have you met Pritika Rao recently? No. And, yeah, exactly. And are, <laughs> are you likely to get together? Uh, for a show. Well, uh, you know, in fact, we did audition in between. Uh, yeah. I'll be honest. Uh, we did audition for some some show. I don't remember the show. This was last year, I guess. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. it didn't really work out. But, yeah. uh, you know, uh, see, these things are destined, I guess. Uh, yeah. You know, if it's supposed to happen, it will happen. Uh, nobody mm -hmm. can really make it, you know, work that. And it's very rare that the same, same couple gets cast together again in some other show. If yeah. they've all been cast in some other project before, so especially in television industry, uh, yeah. but uh, you know it could be a rare situation here. You know uh, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of fans who really love Zayn and Alia, uh, and <laughs> if, if uh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, actually you know what uh, you guys probably have to talk to Faransa on this because he was a writer and the producer of the show, yeah. and uh, if okay. you know. There's a there's a lot of demand. Then why not? Maybe you know you never know. It could be oh. like an explosion. Oh, there you go, Princess Kush uh, Kushika, uh, everybody. You know all of you. So there you go, Periyar, Anusha. They're all waiting, and I'm sure they are going to write uh, write in as we speak. Now, another another fan of yours, uh, Zayantik. I'm not sure if I pronounced it right. Now he wants to know what happened in the gift segment where you and Pritika were supposed to come together. And he wants to know why it didn't happen. Uh, exactly. So I've been shooting for this show for the past uh, more than one year now. And uh, then this whole COVID situation happened. And before that yeah. also, I was traveling abroad. I was in London, I guess. I was shooting for this web <laughs> series. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, that was, again, a great experience. Uh, but yeah, it's just been, you know, lately I've been very occupied with a lot of stuff. And, uh, okay. And uh, I'm sure even Pritika, you know, is not really free. So it's really, yeah. really difficult to, I know it just sounds like, you know, it's just one day and you can just do it. But then, <laughs> you know, it's just going to happen like that. No, we, fair we enough. We back for ourselves these days. No, fair enough. But at least the, the, the doors are open. The options are there if time and God is willing. So let's see. Now, another question from, from some of your fans. Are why, they want to know why you fell off the journalist portal. Um, and I don't know what that means. So could you kind of clarify, what was that about? Why did you fall off the journalist portal? What is that? I, even I didn't get this. Uh, I didn't understand. Okay, maybe. Maybe it was away from cameras or newspaper men. I'm not quite. So Zantic, I asked the question. None of us really understood it. But if you do come on and you want, you can clarify. It'd be brilliant. So now we have got most of those questions out the way. All right, then. Oh, fantastic. So I hope nobody's upset now. Okay. So anyway, now, the story of Bay and the Heart, it was about two people, uh, Zane uh, uh, and obviously, you know, you, you've got your partner, who didn't want to go to an arranged marriage. So it was about people going to an arranged marriage. Now, Zayn didn't like it. He hated it. He spent half of his life trying to get out of it. Now, Harshad, what does Harshad think about an arranged marriage situation then? Uh, you know what? Uh, love is something which just happens and uh, you can't really uh, anticipate it. And uh, yeah. once it happens, it just happens and you go with the flow. So... Yeah. Uh, uh, I was never really in favor of this concept of arranged marriage, but then uh, you know a lot of times it does work for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, some people go with it, some people don't. But mm. uh, let's see. Whenever okay. things happen, <laughs> you know, people will know. No, because I'll tell you why. Because in today's day and age, modern age, a lot of people aren't getting married very early or they're getting married and they seem to be coming around again because it didn't work out the first time. So, exactly. do, you, so do you think this is because we don't have somebody kind of as a go-between to arrange two people come? Because they look at both families, don't they? It's not just about the two people. So one thing that I have observed also over the years is the temperaments have changed uh, a lot. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, the compatibility issues. 
uh, people just separate over petty issues these days and uh, i have seen my friends going through you know bad marriages yeah. as well so it's a very common thing nowadays and uh, priorities <laughs> have changed temperaments have changed and uh, you know the the what was it uh tolerance levels have gone down absolutely agree so do you think we all need a sea monty have you watched arranged marriages on tv have you seen it with a sea monty who's a gobertu <laughs> no 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 so as i said like lately uh, you know i haven't been able to watch my show as well uh, oh God. because uh, yeah we've been running around the clock and uh, this whole covid thing happening and then um, it's it's really you know we're running behind schedule also these days so Yeah. yeah no, no, things. fair enough. No, but I have to say I I can understand the love. I can see people just coming in constantly uh trying to just get a glimpse of you. And I have to say, Harshad, I am one of those people that watched and obsessed over Bay and Bahar and a lot of the other ones. And some people think that I just say it, actually I don't. And this is actually what I do for most of the day. I watch TV. I really, really do. So I actually do know what I'm talking about when I talk about your show. Well, I think I'm very fortunate and very blessed. <laughs> Now, listen. I just want to understand. When I was looking you up, why do you have a patri online? Why do you have your chart online? Is did somebody else do that, or did you do that? No, 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 no. I have no idea about this. And I mean, on my profile, I, I really don't know. Yes, so oh, yes. Facebook? Is that on Facebook <laughs> or Instagram? Is no, it? it's just online. You you look it up and it literally has Arshad Arora's patri. Now, am I correct in uh, thinking that your birthday you were born on Thursday 3rd of September? That's right. But uh, right, I, I, I won't to the year. <laughs> honestly till date I have never made a patri for myself, you know. <laughs> it was I, somebody I else. Has. <laughs> Probably else I don't has. know. Are you sure you haven't got any marriage proposals through through you know through your door any letters so this is why <laughs> So listen first of all belated happy birthday of course you must have been celebrated so lots of love from everybody now I can see but now look being the hub wasn't the only thing that you were associated with the next one that I really liked was your your part in the league Have I said it properly in Delhi? That's right. And I and I remember watching that because the the set was colorful, it was big, and to me it just seemed very modern from what I'd seen on Star Plus. And then I, you know, I see Delhi, it was very different. How did that role come to you? How did that come about? So, uh, again, uh, Delhi was a show which was again made by uh, Mr. Pala- Farhan Salaruddin. He was the producer mm-hmm. of the show as well. And uh, he had called me this part of uh, adarsh mm. and uh, i remember there was some other guy who had shot the pilot but uh, his days were you know really not matching up and then suddenly yeah. i get a call from you know uh, my producer and he said like i'm making this show and would you be interested in doing something like that i said wow that sounds really amazing yeah. and then so i'm really challenged when it comes to dancing and i think the entire world knows that <laughs> So the whole the whole catch in the show was he said you have to do a Bharatnatyam sequence. And I was like, whoa, you know, so why not just take it as a challenge? And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Then rest is history. And uh, I was, I think, I was really, uh, you know, I was really blessed to have such a great star cast in that show. Such yeah. experienced, qualified actors, Amit mm. Bhel, Dumeena Malik, and you know, everybody. And uh, the best part was, uh, you know, in that show. everything was real like there was yeah. really not really a set so we really had a farm house as a wow. house where we used to shoot and yeah. all the locations were like real locations like you would shoot in a college for a college yeah. sequence you would shoot in in a mall for a shopping sequence we would shoot on actual streets for like an outdoor sequence mm. so nothing was like inside a set everything yeah. was like real So, so that really you know reflects on the screen also which is yeah. what your question that you know yeah. looked really different so this is what was different yeah so we should have a bollywood you know like when tourists come so they have a map of where to go and the wonders you know that that you need to see in india we should have a bollywood one where harsha darora was here <laughs> this is a <our laughs> <laughs> uh i think uh, oh, it's oh, just dude, dude. really overwhelming you know when people people do that and uh, yeah i i did come across a lot of people who you know who had come on set from delhi itself so yeah. 
it, it just feels really nice, you know. Um, mm. And you really don't get to know because you're doing this stuff. So if people yeah. who watch you, they probably know it better. Yeah. So as they say, grass is always greener on the other side. So <laughs> yes, very, side. very green. No, but listen, what was it like uh, acting opposite Trida Chaudhary then? About, it is Trida. I have pronounced it right, right? That's right. Right. So what was it like? You know, you've been with Pritika. What was it like? How so was both it the different? actress, both the actresses are really fine actresses. I must say, mm. uh, you know, I've been really fortunate that with that I've always got a really great star cast. Of course, uh, Bainteha was my first show, and it was Pritika's first show as well. So you know, things really are a little difficult in your first project. Mm. So we really got to learn a lot through yeah. our directors and our other actors on set. But uh, after that, things were pretty much a little easy, and mm. it was really smooth from then. Yeah. Oh, love it! You make it sound so easy, like like that. Honestly, this is. <laughs> Now it's part of a system, you know. It's part of a system. It's yeah. just like for you, it's like having an interview. It's like part of your system. Yeah. It's oh, I still get like... nervous. I still get nervous. My heart still beats. No, but you really look <laughs> confident. I mean, you know, it just really comes out. Perception. <laughs> yeah, but tell me now. Looking at your fans the way that they are, like I, I see your fans that seem to be just literally just hypnotized by Ben the Hart. How did they feel? How did they accept you uh, as, you know, being opposite Frida then? Did they accept you in that role? Some of them did. Some of them did not, I'll be honest. Uh, mm. Till date, I get a lot of messages, uh, you know, that, uh, as you said, that why don't we work together? But then, you know, these things are beyond your control. It's just, yeah. it, everything needs to be on paper exactly the same way, which is very difficult to form that same yeah. team again. Because somebody is doing something, somebody is doing something else, so it's really mm. difficult to get the same team together. And and also, I think magic gets created only once. You can't recreate something which was already yeah. so good. Oh, so even you've if just it happens, their heart. You've even just if it happens, their heart. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not going to be good, but then the whole yeah. charm of it, just, you know, goes away. No, so, no, I, I yeah. understand. I understand. But the lead was was a really, actually, really different. In fact, it was a political drama. It had like you know legal bureaucracy. It had terrorism. It had pretty much everything. Now, it was based in Delhi. So I'm assuming, are you in Bombay right now, aren't you? That's right. Yeah. Right. So, well, what do you think? Do you think uh, Mumbai and Delhi? Is there a difference? Do you think in the way that it's run? Do you feel that there is a difference? Because you're a Delhi person. I think I think there is a lot of difference. Delhi being the political capital and yeah. Bombay being the financial capital, so there is a huge difference. Uh, there's a difference uh, in terms of uh, attitude of the people, in yeah. terms of uh, the society, everything, uh, infrastructure, of course, and uh, mm. food for that fact. Just you know these basic things. Yeah. And honestly, being a Delhi boy, I I really like Mumbai more now because <gasps> now I've lived here. But there are certain things that you cannot take away, which is definitely the food. <laughs> and, yeah, food is something, you know, you can't beat Delhi. It has oh, the best of everything. Yeah, so, I, I cook quite well too. I'm in Gurgaon. <laughs> right. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's the set. There you go. You never know. We're going to have to put it to the test, okay? So next time you're down in Delhi. Okay, so you're going to have to travel all the way to the other side. But... Listen, do you think so? I mean, do you think that the movie, that the TV series, was an accurate portrayal um, of these kind of issues, though? See, uh, as, a, as a creator, as a creative person, we try to do our best to present something. Mm. But a lot of times, what you perceive is not really exactly how you execute it or implement mm. it. So the idea on paper could be different, but the way you show it is something else. Yeah. Sometimes it may be even better than the actual idea. Mm. So, uh, yes, we tried to show the best way possible because there are a lot of uh, restrictions. At that time, the web, uh, the web scenario wasn't really there in India. Mm. Netflix had just launched probably in 2016, mm. if I'm right. So, that was the time when this whole concept of finite series was being introduced. Mm. So, Delhi's was one show. There was another show which had launched just with us. I think it was Tamanna, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So... It was really well appreciated by the audiences, uh, you mm. know, uh, uh, because it was something which was not really like a daily soap. You know, mm. it was something for the niche audiences and uh, still being massy at the same time. So that's a very mm. tricky, uh, tricky subject. So we really enjoyed something different, which was I was really fortunate to be a part of such a project. And then 
the scenario completely changed after a couple of years. Now you have Netflix, you have Amazon, you have so many other you know platforms, yeah. so platforms, and TV is just you know typical TV now. You know, mm. uh, very 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 rarely you will see a finite series concept because for that you have the web now. Mm. And, you know, yeah. Where there's less censorship issues. You can really show. Yeah, absolutely. And TV so still has a lot of uh, you know restrictions, uh, obviously. Because yeah. it, you, you still consider it's a, it's a it's a family medium, you know, when you're sitting mm. down for a meal together with the family, you want to watch TV. Your kids are going to be there. Your parents are going to be there. Your mm. in-laws are going to be sitting with you. So you don't want to be in that situation where you just want to you know change the channel. Yeah. So for that, yeah. you have. To, yeah. So I guess so. Obviously, so TV is kind of a nice kind of portrayal. But do you think itself? Do you think India could do with a bit of a, a ramp up in the legal system or anything like? Especially, in, oh gosh, <laughs> I'll talk to the ceiling. <laughs> no, no, but, no. So, what do you think? Do you think that India could do with a bit of a clean up though when it comes to its system, uh, in terms of its legal, its political? Do you well, think it could? Obviously, obviously, there's always scope of improvement. Uh, uh, there's so much going on right now in the legal system. It's all mm. over the news. Uh, Aaron yeah. Parker gets details for that yeah. also. But, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, till the time you don't really put pressure, there's no media pressure. Unfortunately, things yeah. don't really move in that pace. That's it. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, no. you talk about which your political party or which your government or. Uh, you know, everybody just have tall claims, but when it comes to doing the actual job, things are not the same. Yeah. So, so no. Yeah, well, it's... let's hope we get an OTT version, which is probably a more realistic version, so we can do something about it. Yeah, we really need to do that. Now, listen, you've done some really high, uh, you know, high power drama, but you've also tried your luck at historic fantasy. Is that what you would call it? I mean, I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing because I had to write this down the name. Maya V. Marling. That's Have right. I, I have That's to. Right. Yes. Yes. So, you know, so what was it? How? Why did you think of doing something like that? Because that was really different. Exactly. So, see, as an actor, uh, my idea of signing a book is. Uh, what am I learning new, something new, something in a different project? Like, mm. for instance, uh, what I'm doing right now is something which is comedy, which I really haven't tried much. Mm. And uh, it is happening. It is, you know, pe people are liking the show. It has its own uh, set of audiences. And, uh, but yes, uh, I still get recognition for my first two shows, Bain Deha yeah. primarily, much more, and then the Delhi's. But as an actor, I want to satisfy myself creatively yeah. in some different way in every project. Otherwise, everything gets monotonous, you know. Yeah, it's just not about the money. It's about whether you're being satisfied. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, that's, I mean, that's probably why. So you're breaking yeah. out and trying new things. That's what you want and to I, do. I, I really don't want to be typecasted as well. Yeah, well, I don't think I don't think you can help that. <laughs> so what can I do? Well, yeah, I see, some people want to see you in some role. They will always want to see you in that. So, you well, know, it's a choice again. But you couldn't be more different because you end up being an illegitimate son of the Maharani, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but that's again, it's a fantasy. It's a fantasy show, and uh, yeah. you know, so there were a lot of things that didn't really go well with that show because yeah. uh, there were a few reasons for me signing up that show. Uh, it was supposed to be on a star plus, but then because we missed the deadlines a lot of times, so yeah. we had to be put on a different channel. And uh, you know, when we started off, the budgets were something else, and when we started shooting, the budgets obviously came down because we went on a different channel. You know, yeah. earlier we were on star plus, and star plus and star Bharat, although it's the same company, but you know, it's, it's much different. Mm. It's a lot more different. Yeah. So, no, no, fair enough. Yeah. That's great. That it came on regardless of whatever channel because it does show your flexibility. Now, of course, I mean, it, but listen, I, you need to also confirm here. You know what I'm gonna uh, what I'm gonna say here. You've already publicly confirmed that you are dating, right? Is it uh, Arpana Kumar, your your, right. your your mother? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I mean, my how? Yeah, yeah. So I just want to understand, right? Because when I when I've talked to actors before, they have to really get into their role. Now, in trying to get into your role of a son, how do you actually cope with the fact that the, the woman that you're so, looking at 
It is something exactly. that is very unmotherly to you. <laughs> exactly. So I'm just going to come to that. So if you if you have seen the show, you know, scenes between me and her were not really like a mother and son. It, mm. As I said, I was an illegitimate. I wasn't her biological child also. So it, okay. it was just like I I was just born Adopted. out of out of thunder or some some magical power. Oh yeah, they do that in Mahabharat as well in Ramayana. I don't believe it for a second. Kisor ka bacha, is ka bacha. I believe there's something behind it. We just made it sound nice. <laughs> but yeah, that's 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 how we we portrayed in the show, and we basically were the bad energies in the show. We were yeah. worshiping the evil side, and then there was a side. Which was, you know, worshiping the good side, the the yeah. gods. So I also wanted to do that show because there was, you know, no instance where I did a negative uh, role. So I yeah. really wanted to try something, you know, my own. Yeah, right. So okay. So this is it because a lot of people have asked me, "What's it like being with us?" And now, when are you going to tie the knot? And I said, "Well, I'm not sure if it's a question I can ask because you it, do you sometimes find though it's hard to have a relationship when you're in the public eye because it's hard to take its course." You know, uh, when you you are a public figure, uh, it just things like these happen. You just gotta you know you go over alone to deal with it, and yeah. that's what I'm doing. And you know. Uh, you got to live your life as well you just can't you know stop living your life and yeah. start you know people letting you uh, tell telling you that how you should live your life yeah. so that's not being that well well there is there is a person who messaged me one of the people that messaged me constantly uh during the night that positive soul i'm not sure if you're out there right now but this is for you so she wants to know when exactly did you feel that uh open up was the one that you actually you saw oh she's not really a mother but i do really like her when was that moment? you know we 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 it's been 3 years now that uh, yeah. we we seeing each other so that's a long time to find that out <laughs> um, how good you are with a person or how that person is with you but when did you first realize though i mean when did it come to you that's what positive soul wants to know <laughs> uh, i think uh, yeah, we started from seeing each other uh, during the show itself but then you know uh, we really hit off on a lot of things a lot of people, yeah. a lot of things in common so mm. of course she is also from delhi so mm. that was one thing and then we both knew each other Yeah, ah, foodie. Yeah. But I tell you something. You don't look like a foodie. I mean, look at you. You don't seem. You don't seem to be. Uh, I don't know. Eating or obsessed by food. I mean, well, you're just so fit. That's an occupational hazard. We have to look after ourselves also, despite yeah. whatever cravings we have. So, <laughs> okay. despite whatever so food I eat, I try to make sure that I, you know, still look a little bit presentable yeah. on camera. Oh, well, there you go. They said you look beautiful. If you just listen, you look at the messages. They love you and they think you look beautiful, which is lovely because you haven't changed. I'll tell you something, Harsha. From the first time I saw you on TV, and this was almost how many? Yeah, quite a few, almost a decade. They were less than a decade ago. You still look the same. You haven't really changed, and that is something a lot of women would die for. Let me tell you, me included. Okay, so we know. <laughs> we know well, when I see myself in the mirror, I'm like, okay, probably I'm gonna have a couple of grey hair. Whatever, <laughs> right? Okay. But we, you know, it's acceptable on a man, though, isn't it? You know, you Absolutely. look mature. Absolutely. You know what? Honestly, I would love to keep salt and pepper, but on, you know, on television, <laughs> it doesn't really work. So. So you got it straight. I would, I would be more than happy to not colour my hair. <laughs> Although I yeah. don't really have much of grey hair, but yeah, yeah, I'm really happy. happy to flaunt it as well. I really have no, you know, I'm yeah. not really shy about it. Also, all right, oh, there you go. So you heard the man. So guys, save your money. Don't bother colouring that black. Because her chef has just endorsed the fact that he would rather go peppery. So there you go. I think I've made quite a few people, women, happy because it just saves some money on the budget. Now listen, you're you're in a place. Are you in your kind of a van or a room right now? Where are you right now? I'm in my room right now, and trust me, I had to really, you know, argue with my AP for this interview because they were going to shoot. And I, they were actually going to shoot me. I, I put my foot down. I said no. I want to come in my time with somebody, and I'm. Thank you. So Thank you just, so much. It's time. <laughs> Yeah, so tell me. So you know, people are still loving you. Whatever happens, I think they've got it on auto here. But what are you up to right now, then? Uh, uh, what are you shooting so, for? As I said, I'm doing this show for Sub TV. It's called mm -hmm. Tera Kya Hua Alia. Mm -hmm. It was called Tera Kya Hua Alia. Now it's called Carry On Alia because mm -hmm. it's like a we have revamped the show after the lockdown. 
So, yeah, it's the story of this girl. Uh, Alia is the title role. Uh, mm. I'm playing her husband. So, she, uh, as I said, uh, you know, uh, we are all teachers in a school, and it's it's a small mm. town story. We are all from Agra, and uh, we are teachers in a Hindi medium school. I'm playing a PT teacher, a sports mm. teacher, and she's a history teacher. And uh, how this uh, girl comes, a South Delhi girl apparently, mm, again, from a medium background, and then <laughs> on the way when she comes, all the heads turn, and then yeah. she starts getting close to me, and then Alia starts getting insecure because women, after getting married a lot of times, you know, they, you know, these insecurities are bound to happen, and then yeah. they look at their husbands, and then they still so fit sometimes, and you know, women tend yeah. to put on some weight. So <laughs> these these kind of uh, issues are very real, you know. And we try to highlight them in a very, yeah. very light space, so the audiences are loving it. Yeah. And now, of course, the scenario is the same, but now only the backdrop has changed. So now, mm. instead of school, we have a newsroom, and you know. but, but listen. So going to your original script, okay? So why did that change? Is it because of the pandemic? Why did you have to change it, or was it because of audience demand? Because uh, also there were some. Issues uh, after the lockdown, uh, there were some actors who were not available, and mm. I think uh, we had to really work on the scripts. So the 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 script on script level, on writing level, we had to change a little bit, make a little bit of changes in the show. Yeah. So we adapted and you know molded the show, keeping the essence of the show pretty similar. But but it's quite ch it's quite different. I mean, your original one, like you said, uh, you know, it's about a couple and insecurities you know, in their marriage. So now you're in a relationship, a long-term relationship. I'm sure it's not the first one. Uh, well, uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that if your mum's listening. Really? But, <laughs> <laughs> but now you're in a relationship. Um, do you feel that it, it really is true? Do you feel that women generally do get insecure or do both partners get insecure at some time in a relationship? Do they both actually, they both do get insecure. Uh, in this case, we have focused on the girl. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm talking about your relationship. Her. I'm talking about you. <laughs> oh, I'm your pretty cool. Luckily, we both very solid. We have not trust yeah. issues, and we have the understanding. As yeah, I said, three years is a long time. We really yeah. now is the time we really know at the back of the head, like okay, this is what you're thinking, right? Oh yeah, yeah. this is what I'm thinking. Yeah, so, no. So what advice would you give them? So people who are just starting on that journey and they've just come together, it's all romantic. What kind of advice would you give them? I mean, do relationships change as you go along? What do you think relationships about? change. Of course, relationships change. I would say they evolve and yeah. everything evolves with time and you've got to evolve with it. So yeah. that is how, as a human being, you get involved. Hmm. After you get involved, you get evolved is what I'm not trying to say so ah, interesting so after you know with uh, with the course of time things change and perceptions change there are a lot of things you used to do which you don't do which somebody yeah. your partner likes which you got to adapt and you, there are a lot of changes you know she makes it for you so yeah I mean, but, ha it's, but have you learned have you learned to deal with say problems a lot better uh, that's what i'm saying that so i think you'll have to ask aparna I'll have to ask about. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so no, because I was wondering how you've managed to take it that far. You know, is it a lot about compromise? You know, the first argument, you didn't walk off. You decided, I want to make this happen. So you compromise. You sit down and talk so, about it. Uh, is exactly. So when when you are the right person, you know what to do, right? And you know, yeah. and okay, well, you know, this is the best I can get, and I don't think I have, uh, yeah. you know, I can get better than this. So. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so by mistake, you've never called her Amma, Piazza, or Mama, no. or Mother, or Mara. <laughs> All right. Because he said Piazza. No, no, that's fine. So, any advice to people is to basically just hang in there, just think about it, don't react. And this is what I've learned you don't react at the first argument, and you don't speak immediately once somebody has shouted or screamed. Every, I think that's every relationship you have an argument almost every day. Yeah. The, the trick is to come out of it. Yes, this is the key. I think this is it. And then, and this and is... then be happy about it. So, yeah. No, 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 good for you. So good for you. So no, so I, so what I, so I'm just thinking now. You're a journalist now in your new script, aren't you? Is that what yeah. it is? Right. Yeah. So you know, it's really funny now being on the other side. Now, so now you're a journalist. 
what have you learned? How did what kind of research did you do to do this role? Did did you really? I mean, what what do you what did you find out about journalists and how far they're willing to get a story, to do a story? So uh, again, I'm a sports journalist, and yeah. you know I do watch a lot of sports channels. I do watch ESPN and I do watch a lot yeah. of cricket. I do watch a lot of commentary, and I, so bits and pieces from everywhere. You know, I'm it's mm. not something specific I, I can name, but uh, the mannerisms and, and right now we haven't really touched that part of my character mm. also that I'm feeling yeah. reporting doing something like that. It's majorly Alia that is doing the thing, and we're just trying to. Everybody's trying to just help her out of you know situations, yeah. doing their part. So But, yeah, so because I was wondering how far your character was willing to go for audience, uh, for readership. To, to, I, I'm just waiting. Is, are there some extreme things that we're waiting for? As uh, the script level, we haven't really you know read it. Ask me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I really, you know, have immense respect for all you guys because uh, it's a lot of hard work and you know, um, keeping a track of time and you know, yeah. memorizing ten thousand things inside your head. What are you gonna do next? And you know, what's the next thing? And also not be boring at the same time. And yeah, you know, well, I try. Yeah, I try so not to. <laughs> it's, it's 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 a big task, and I think it's it comes naturally to some people. Uh, yeah, you including. And no, so, no, yeah. no. I was under pressure. And I'll tell you why. Because there was some fan of yours who said, "I'm really excited about Harsha coming on, because he doesn't come on that often." So I hope uh, my expectations uh, are match you know, the, the you know the level, the standard of your interview. I'm thinking, I don't know. I, I, no, absolutely. <laughs> As I said, I I don't I don't really come on uh, you know online, but uh, I said, why not? You know, let's just do it. And uh, so I oh, just finally really? had to. Make some arrangements, and I was like, you know, let's just do it and let's see. No, and you know what? And I, I am really grateful. I, I, I'll have you know, because journalists go through, you know, so much. Because there's this journalist who's written about how well you make bindi, how you looked after a cat, and they go to such length to get this story. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that all that happened during the lockdown, you know. Yeah, you I mean. Yeah, I mean, how do they come to you, though? How do they come to you, though? Did they say, "I want to know exactly how you kept this cat company, and I want to know exactly what you did on the pandemic"? Is that what they did? No, no. So basically, they just uh, wanted to know what I did during the lockdown and how That's I, you know, and I yeah. told them that I adopted, uh, you know, two cats and uh, how. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. Just so, uh, I, animals, so. Ah, okay. Oh, by the way, Hush, I'd like your bindi recipe because that's one thing that I find really hard to make. I'll make it, but it's tasteless. All right. So please do WhatsApp me the recipe because Absolutely. apparently you've mastered it. This is what I know. Uh, what the article says. Well, uh, yeah, but I still need some help sometimes. So I think uh, I'll need some help. With the proper ingredients, <laughs> and then I'm WhatsApp. So, are you the person that goes into the kitchen then? So, out the two of you in a relationship, are you the one that's cooking? Are you the it's cook? It's definitely not me. It's Abarna. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay, she taught me so much. She taught me so yeah. much about what to do in the kitchen, and uh, I didn't even know how to hold a knife. I didn't even know how to chop <gasps> veggies till she like. That's awful. <laughs> so that's awful. then, 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 uh, but things changed. As I said, the lockdown, during lockdown. I could yeah. just, you know, try to help her in whichever way, but then I think she's a master chef. She can just make anything. Wow. Oh, and on my yeah. birthday, I mean, she just surprised me. She just, I was like blown away. And when I saw the people and the food that was made, I was just like in awe. Wow. Like, this is just true love. Amazing. You know, yeah. you know, a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. If you're going to make a feast. That's it. You're done. So this is That's your future. So I think keep keep the good one. Now tell me, Harshad, what's on the card for the future? Now you mentioned some web series, did you? In London? Or no, so there, there was a web series which I did, which was last oh. year. Right now, uh, currently, I'm just signed up with this show, this project, and uh, let's see, uh, mm. because all my dates are are with these guys right now. So mm. as of as of now, it's just this project that I'm focusing on. Okay, fair enough. So, where there's a so one quick question: Is it going to be Bollywood or OTT? Because their scale has uh, changed. They've tipped. Um. See, yeah. Uh, as I said, uh, it could be anything. It just has to be. It just has to be a nice script, a nice role, something which is disturbing, disturbingly intriguing. I would say. Ooh, and, it's a uh, dark role. 
dark roll or could be anything which I haven't really done before, which should just yeah. be exciting enough for me. Something which I which would make me think, okay, I don't think I'll be able to do it, but then I still will do it. Yeah. Because yeah. that is what the fun is, to challenge yourself. Oh, so. right. Okay. No, fair enough. Because a lot of dark series on OTT, if you are planning. So that's all I see for the OTT platform. You know, mostly yeah, dark. For me, for me as an actor, I just want to, I just want to do something which people haven't seen me doing. You know, yes, yeah. of course, there's been Zen, there's been others, but there's, yeah. I, I think there's still so much more scope to, uh, to an actor. Yeah. Uh, and you just got to, you know, realize that and see. What's the best? You, you want to play a bad man. That's what you want to do. And you want I would to love to do that, actually. I would love to do that. I would love to be like a mafia, uh, you know, uh, a mafia boss or some, some well, muscle guy or somebody. You never know. I mean, yeah, I don't want to say anything, but, you know, there could be a movie uh, about a person who just passed away recently. And I think you know who I'm talking about. So you never know who is going to make that movie. Um, I'm and I'm, sure. I'm waiting. I'm sure. I'm, sure. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. <laughs> so you never know. So I'm waiting for your new stuff. Thank you so much for coming on, Hersha. I know that you've got to write Rush Off. I do understand this. And you've got lots and lots of love coming through and lots of people want you to follow them as well. And I think there's some messages in, I, I'm not sure what language they're in, to be honest. Indonesian, yeah. I think. Oh, Indonesia, yeah. you've got Turkey, well, you've got Turkey there, you've got Bangladesh there, you've got Indonesia there, and you've got India. So there's a multitude. Well, you know what? You've been uh, fantastic for coming on. Thank you so much for agreeing to Thank it. You so much. I know I that I, I had to chase you, you know this, uh, to come on. And uh, <laughs> I thank you for agreeing. And you know what? Making the day of your fans because you really, really have. And I hope to see you in the future. So, Absolutely. thank you so much. And listeners, thank you so much for coming on. You've been absolutely fantastic. The reason why we're cutting this short, because your Zen, right, whatever character you want to see him as, he has to go off because he's got work to do. Now, if you did miss some of this and you've had to go off in the middle, do come in and watch the IGTV or come on to my website, annied.in. You will see, you will see how Shadar Aurora there. You can see him play him again and again and again. There are articles there for you to read. Very interesting and very up to date. And for those that are visually impaired, you've also got a podcast or audio podcast or audio blog recordings to help you with that. So, Harsha, thank you so much once That's again. So An absolute time. pleasure. And do thank your team for getting that time time out for you. Absolutely, and me. I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> and your listeners. Bye -bye. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. Good luck. You bye, -bye. Too. bye bye. Bye bye.